So, Chris, I have this question to ask you because now you remember. First of all, I don't remember how. How did we first meet? B A I. Okay. Yeah, now, for sure. B A I. Okay, because I was doing No More Radio. Yeah. I know that. And remember, I had my crew. I mean, I had like like seventeen people in No More Radio. I mean, you know. Yeah, I think it was the Richard Wright. Ah, uh, oh, the play. Yeah. I recruited you for the play. I believe so. Okay, which uh, must be the long, but must have been the long dream, not. Or was yeah. it the outsider? You know, it's the no, long dream. The outsider was later. Yes, the long dream. Okay, I, I, I oh, that's right. Actually, I recruited you to play to play a character in the, in the audio drama. Sheriff, I think. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> uh, you know, I think that was a no. I I recruited I recruited Jake one time to do when I did the outsider, and Jake was my engineer, and I said, okay, you have one. He has one line, and it, it, he played the. Uh, uh, young, uh, why, uh, y, y, w, cop. So what about you? young white cop, right there. <laughs> <laughs> he right there. Okay, so I, I recruit. That's when I first. Did. But now, but remember, I was doing normal radio at the time, also. Yeah. And what you and what you had because you were a poet, you had you, you was down here at Lower East Side. You've always been a Lower East Side. How long have you been in Lower East Side? Since 1972, when I first moved to New York. There you go. But you, you had a, we had a Sister Cities project going with, 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 with um, Bluefields, Bluefields, Nicaragua. And you came, did you, I think you came up with the idea of recording once a month. Tell us what, what that was. Yeah, that was a poetry reading series called, um, the, oh, what did we call that? Anyway, it was, it was the Bluefields Lower East Side Sister City project. That's right. So Nicaragua and, and this is not, not Nicaragua at the time with, with, with the San Denises were really the San Denises. Yeah, this was this was after, has to have been after 1984 when I first went to Nicaragua. That's right. Um, and so we did these poetry readings, pretty much anywhere we could find the space. Mm -hmm. Eventually, we did them at um, PS 121, mm -hmm. and then for a, a one season at uh, the New Eureka. Now, was this a weekly thing that you were doing? With the, it was monthly. Did, uh, it was monthly. Okay, but then when you came to No More Radio, you were doing it live, right? Yeah. You, you were doing poetry live, and I would have, was it once a month then, too? We did, it was once a month. Right. I, now, I, I think I said, come on, no, you got to do this. <laughs> I, I forget how it happened, but I knew you, you said, you. I said, look, we can record it, and we can send a cassette down to to the Bluefields Nicaragua station. That's right. That's right. Okay. So that so 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 you would you know you you I think you were listening to whatever because of because of Richard Wright that's how you met me then you start listening to No More Radio then so somehow so somehow you would some time to listen to No More Radio so one time you came you, you would come you know and then we would record we send it down to Bluefields okay no worries but then at one particular time you came early you came early to this to the station to the show you, you know early than usual in other words you. Would, like, yeah. it was a, I think it was a three-hour program at the time, whenever it was. But, you know, you, I might say, okay, let's say it was from three to six, whatever, whatever the time it was, right? I would say, well, we'll come at four, you know, that you come for. But this particular time you came early and you saw how I started the program. And you looked and said, what? Because <laughs> you saw me dancing around with all the machines and doing the rest of the Tell me, do you remember that? I don't remember it. Okay, I'm going to tell you what happened. When I start normal radio, I always, you know, I'm, I'm an engine, I'm a real, actually a real uh, board operator engineer. Yeah. And so I would use, I could use all, we have maybe three turntables, uh, four T, uh, tape recording machines, four TRs, um, uh, some cart machines, uh, cassette machines, um, whatever we had. And you saw me dancing around, putting this, my, or my first, uh, my, my montage, my beginning montage for No More Radio Together, because you would just hear it on the radio, but you saw how I did it, and you saw that it wasn't scripted. That would just go ahead and, like a dancer, like that. Yeah. That's what you said. She said, I, 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 you was, you was like, you was like flabbergasted. Yes. <laughs> well, I was always flabbergasted by what you were doing. <laughs> but I always remember that, because for me, it was weird, because when I do radio, I hadn't been doing it for, you know, because I started, I, I, 
I have this poem called I'm a Dancer. You know what I mean? Uh, and I can't recite it because I just write my stuff down. But I have it. And, and that's why I approach everything as a dancer. People don't really understand that. I approach everything as a dancer. Yes, I'm trained as a stage manager. I, I, I operate as a stage manager. But when I'm doing stuff, I do it as, as a dancer. And so everything, I, I when I'm performing, I even perform. But like you saw just to the poetry reading, even though it looked like I wasn't doing anything, but my brain is like a dancer. I'm using props and doing it's, it's, it's like that. It's a... I said, no, I just told you a little secret that you know, nobody knows like that. But anyway, I just want, I, I was trying to figure out how I first met you. And and, how, and, and you've been going now as, as, as a poet. I mean, you're fairly, fairly, you're a successful poet, you know, or, 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 as they say in the poetry, you're a fine poet. You ever hear that? You're a fine poet. I can write a little bit, yeah. Right here, you get this humility thing. You all guys with your humility. No, that's like that's when a baseball player says, "I can hit a little bit." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. But you, but you, you, you like a real, a real New York City, New York, whatever, Bohemian, whatever you want to call it, poet, a bona fide, you know. Bona fide. Bona you know I mean? fide boe, boho. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, wh what venues do you usually poet in? Let's put it that way. Well, I, I have a couple of series that are that are favorites of mine. This one. Mike Graves, the Phoenix series, and I love it because he's a mess, but he keeps it going, and I know how hard it is to keep it going, mm. but he's a mess, but I like him, and so I, anytime he asks me to read, I read. Mm. Um, let's see, where, oh, <clears throat> um, next Saturday, on the 11th, mm. not this Saturday, but next, uh, yeah, next Saturday. 9-11, yeah. 9-11. No, 9 10. 9 10. It's a Saturday. Okay. I will be hosting on one of the stages of the New York Poetry Festival. Oh. Governor's Island. Oh, man. Too bad I'm going to be out of town. I'd love to see that. Yeah. On Governor's Island. I, I'm not sure where it is. They, they have four different stages set up. Mm. They're named after poetry venues in New York. Mm. Um, the one I'm going to be on is called the White Horse Tavern. Oh. The White Horse Stage. The White Horse Tavern is yeah, where yeah. Dylan Thomas drank yeah, himself yeah, to death. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I hope that's not an omen. <laughs> Stop it. You should, I, I, yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, but you did, didn't you just come from Boston or someplace up there? Yeah. My favorite place of all to read is this guy, this Haitian guy, Jean-Paul Jean, Jean Denis Joachim. And he runs a poetry series called City Nights um, in a little crepe cafe and he's what do you say crepe you mean crepe cafe when they crepe, sell crepe when they sell make and sell crepes you're trying, you, you're trying to be French with me okay go ahead knock yourself out man. <laughs> these worldly people um, and, uh, and and anything that Jean Denis does if he invites me to go up there if I possibly can I will mm -hmm. um, and I used to read a lot at Cornelia Street. Of course, oh yeah, I used to read. But, I used to read Cornelia yeah, Street too. Yeah. Cornelia, everybody did. Yeah, but Cornelia, Cornelia Street is dead. Well, here um, the New York New York Post Cafe is dead also these days. I don't know because I stopped going there. Oh well, well, a lot of us got banned. <laughs> I banned it. <laughs> oh okay, I got you. How about the uh, uh, the, the Bowery Poetry Theater? Is that still happening? That's still happening, but I don't go there. As far as I know, it's still happening. I don't go there either because um, of the person who runs it. The current person. Um, I don't like. Oh boy, how is the poetry scene? Let me put it that way. Let me just said, how is the poetry scene these days? I mean, I venues. Don't, I don't venues know. I'm, I'm, the next year is next October, twenty uh, three is the 100th anniversary of War Resisters League. Mm. And we're going to try to revive Poets for Peace uh -huh. uh, and do some kind of big reading. We did in 2002, December of 2002, before the invasion of Iraq, mm -hmm. while we were had already invaded Afghanistan, mm. three of us, um, uh, Veronica Golos and Angela Verga and I put together Poets for Peace and did a, um, a 
a big reading at the eleven ninety nine MLK yeah. Auditorium. And we had uh, Cornelius Eady, oh. uh, Martina Spada, mm. Grace Paley, mm. uh, and you know a whole lot of big names. Mm. And uh, we did we did several poets for peace readings that spring. Mm. Newsflash: we failed to stop the war, um, but uh, we're going to try to put that together again for the or is this is these hundreds. Okay, that's next year. That's there. next year. Next. October 23. October 23rd. Hey, maybe I can make it. That would be fabulous. I'll, 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 I'll try to I'll try to I'll try to sneak on stage. Let's do one tiny little something. Let's see what happens. Uh, you know, make that. You, uh, you don't want my humility. I don't want yours either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks for that, man. I'll, I'll talk, we'll talk some more. All right. Okay.